I'm here today with Gavin Lockyer. He's the Managing Director for Aerofura Resources. Gavin, how are you today? Good, thanks, Tracy, and uh, good to be speaking with you again. Um, Gavin, you travel around the world um, with regards to the Aerofura Resources property and project. I know you know a lot about rare earths, and we have a lot of concern out there about the pricing. And I happen to uh, uh, know already that you agree with both myself and Jack Lifton that we do believe a lift in rare earth prices. But what I'd love to know is what kind of lift do you perceive uh, and project to be happening here in the near future? Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, what you think is happening in the overall industry, Gavin? Sure. Um, I think um, I think the Chinese are becoming bigger and bigger users and uh, I think this is becoming an issue for them. Uh, in light of the recent uh, WTO, um, uh, I guess, uh, the WTO um, hearing and um, findings, uh, I would expect that rare earth prices are going to increase generally because of um, supply restrictions and it's simply because there is no extra supply coming on board. Um, we're seeing Molly and uh, Linus coming on board, which is great for the industry, but uh, demand seems to be outstripping that in all fields, and, and that's across the spectrum, lights, mediums, and heavies. Uh, so my, you know, and, and uh, I guess critics of the whole rare earth game would be saying, well, of course he's going to say that rare earth prices are going higher because he's an MD of a, of a uh, potential uh, producer, but the reality is, is that, um, you know, I'm talking to you now via Skype, Tracy, and that wouldn't be possible without rare earths. And this is becoming more and more common and more and more accepted in everyday life. So I think it's the same old argument that everybody's been uh, banging on about for the last few years. But I actually think that um, it's, it's supply is becoming a really, really critical issue. And um, until the rest of the world realises this, and I hope that the investment community realises this very soon. Um, these are big capex projects, and they require funding. And um, you know, we all need help, and we're all all in an industry that's exciting. Um, but uh, it's a long-winded answer to your question. But I certainly believe that rare earth prices are on the on the up. And uh, Japan's been stockpiling for a long time, but uh, you can't continue to stockpile when uh, somebody's not exporting. Well, Gavin, thank you so much for reinforcing what we keep saying here on Investor Intel, which is that the demand will continue to increase. And, of course, Aerofura is on the race to production. And uh, can you just give us a final note on uh, your timeline for producing? Sure. Well, next year is a, a year of consolidation for us. We uh, are looking at optimizing our Chinese work streams, uh, getting our CapEx, OpEx down, and uh, Hopefully by the middle of next year we have an information memorandum which we can actually go out to uh, project financiers to start seriously talking about building, constructing and uh, getting into uh, production. If I gave you a date, I'd, I'd, I'd probably get it wrong, but uh, I'm really hoping that uh, by the end of 2016, early 2017, we are uh, pushing the button and uh, actually becoming one of the next major suppliers of rare earths. Thank you, Gavin, so much for joining us today. Thanks very much, Tracy.